soy el fuego que... Sunhair gave me guest welcome at Stone Bear Hall. Aye, she sent word. As a guest, then, may I please borrow your boat? We would be poor hosts to refuse. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive. so many spirits to this place, I wonder. from the battle that took place here, not the breach. Seems like something you might be able to help with. Pain drew the wraiths. But this spirit touched the mind of someone who cared for Inquisitor Emeridan. Emeridan? Yes. Inquisitor. Beloved. I... She... Came with Emeridan to hunt the dragon. The dragon? Huge. Power like none had seen. It came from the mountains with the Avar. Towns fell, all dead. One last favor for Emperor Draken. Slay the Avar dragon, save or lay. Tell me what happened to Inquisitor and Meriden. They fought at the shore. Spirits and magic. Cold. So cold. How I found her. How she found us. They rested here. Then up the river. Metal spires. A way to stop the dragon. Then Talana returned here, alone. Wait for him. Forever waiting. Dreaming. Then dead. We'll find Emeridan. You don't have to wait here anymore. You have done all she asked of you. 
Be free. Thank you. It was hard. I... She... Went a long time ago. I stayed because she asked. Her things are there. She wanted them found. Everything all right down there? May I help you, Inquisitor? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Emeridan's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that Emeridan was here on orders from Emperor Dracon himself, and where he went next. On Drosti's dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Emeridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. When I helped the Avar at Stone Bear Hold, we learned that the jaws of Hakon once bound their god's soul to a beast. According to the spirit, the dragon Emeridan faced was powerful and accompanied by hostile Avar. You believe they could be one and the same? But that would mean... Of course! Of course! Brilliant! 800 years ago, the Second Blight threatened a weak Orle. A perfect time for the Avar to attack. This Avar God Dragon could have endangered the Olesian Empire had Emeridan not stopped it. That explains why he would accept such a dangerous mission. And likely how he died. History forgot about an attack by a giant magic dragon? If you want something done right, the spirit said to follow the river to the north. And something about spires or spikes. Mm. Up the river, um... The scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now... Your guess is as good as mine. I take it you're not from Orlais originally. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Starkhaven. Fourth son of Lord and Lady Kenrick, destined for Chantry service. Fortunately, I convinced them the university might be a fashionable alternative. How are you assigned to the Inquisition? I study primarily the early Chantry. 
particularly around the signing of the Navarra Accord. That was why I transferred to the University of Orléans, closer to the source than Starkhaven. Sadly, most scholars took Inquisitor Emeridan's history as settled, even with so many questions remaining. No one took my ideas seriously until your Inquisition formed. I wrote Ambassador Montelier, and, well, here we are. What's it like at the University of Orléans? Oh, it's brilliant. Some of the greatest minds I've ever known. Now, the university was always well regarded, but Empress Celine made it the envy of all theaters. She even got them to start admitting elves. A few bent noses, but it's worth it. Knowledge knows no bounds and all. I confess that we are worried about the fighting between Celine and Gaspard. Hopefully that settles down soon. I'd like to discuss Inquisitor Emeridan. Of course, your predecessor. Existing historical records are contentious. Some say he was a devout Andraste. Others suggest he cared little for religion, gaining leadership of the Seekers through Emperor Draken's friendship. He disappeared around the time the Seekers of Truth, the original Inquisition, incorporated into the newfound Chantry. Historians assumed he retired to go dragon hunting. Our new information should shake up academic circles profoundly. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about Emeridan going upriver to, um... Some place with, with spires? While you search upriver, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um, sounded better in my head. I'll speak with you later.